Oh, she's looking nice. Well, we've got it. We just got you, and uh, we're going to try again. Yesterday, the wind got up a little bit too much, and unfortunately, it's um, most of the sound, I think, it impacted on the sound of the video clip. But um, what we've done is I've brought a whole shoal of sardine, all mushed up, um, that I've had in the in the freezer, all my old bait. And what you're going to do is we're going to chum the water a bit and see if we can maybe get a gully shark. Um, there's been a couple of shad around yesterday, there was some nice shad. And uh, I'm, we're actually at the back of the wreck or to the side of the wreck. You see the swimming pool in the background. And uh, this is actually a very, very good spot for yellow belly rock cod in the evening now at this time. It's late afternoon. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a try and see if we can catch. I brought some of that uh, red bait from yesterday, and um, I must say, after saying that there's nothing that can get the smell of red bait off your hands, I managed to uh, work some magic, and I've got a little tip that I can share with you guys. Um, and it was just a matter of process and elimination. I think walk through throughout my life, I've been looking for this. It's almost like finding the holy grail, but it's it's really common sense when you when you listen to what I've got to say. And basically what it is, is um, you get a bit of bicarbonate of soda. Now bicarb takes smells out of anything. And uh, you mix it with a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid or just hand soap, which I did yesterday. And then I found that um, for some reason conditioner, hair conditioner, um, worked exceptionally well. So uh, I took a mixture of the conditioner and uh, I washed my hands a few times and completely eradicated the smell so it's, it's well worth a try and then uh, get hold of an orange or a lemon and just squeeze the the peels and just get that citrus oil onto your hands and that sort of takes the the main swell, smell away for a bit and then after that uh, the next morning you wake up and it's pretty much all over but uh, normally you'd, you'd, you'd smell it the next morning quite a lot so we're gonna we're gonna crack on you I've still got the same trace from yesterday the double hook trace that I showed you in the in the clip it's just a continuation of what we did yesterday and as I said we stopped purely because of the wind we moved off the spot and wanted to go to another spot but um, the conditions weren't great the, the sea started flattening out I'm just going to put my sinker back on you and we're going to put a bait in I've got a there's a really nice spot out there um, good long throw and I've, I've caught quite a few punskop out there off this spot I've caught shad off here and I've caught a lot of gully sharks. One evening, Daniel and myself, I brought him here when he was much younger and he got towed through the bricks here. And he's actually caught his biggest gully just to the right here um, in this little bay. So it's a very, very good, good spot for gullies in the evening. As soon as the lights go out, they tend to come thick. So we're going to put a bit of chum in the water, probably attract a lot more seagulls. And then we're going to crack on with, uh, with a bit of red baits and uh, see if there's some shad in the water after a while. So, it's good too. Daniel's just into a little gully shark or something. Uh. Oh, I'm holding my rod trying to film. So I don't know what it's going to come out like. Gully. It's thrashing around in there. We'll bring it now this way. Yeah, this little pup. I should start coming quite quick now. Okay. Grab it by its head, Daniel, otherwise that hook will... Well done. It's a little one. Get a proper one. Get the hook out and get another bait in.
Look him in the nose. Pop him back, let's go. I was beaten before I even could get anywhere. Unfortunately, I let him go. I should have held him and uh, cut me off. What a nice one. Do you want to measure it? It's almost pitch dark. And Daniel's looks at, I think it's also a striped capture. I'll just let, let it run and he's into one. Just keep it set out. Yeah, it's also a striped cat. Last one.